Should you buy a 3 star AC or a 5 star AC? Let's try to understand that today. This will be a math heavy video. So if you only want the summary, then here it is. A 3 star AC is sufficient for you if you use your AC only a few months in a year, like only during the summer months. And in that period, you only use it less than 12 hours in a day. A 5 star AC is better for you if you use your AC throughout the year or even if you use your AC for 12 to 24 hours if you're using your AC only for 3 to 4 months in a year. To make it easier for you to understand, I'll use the example of Daikin. Generally, the upfront cost of an AC, a 5 star AC, is much higher than a 3 star AC, almost by 7 to 8,000. You can see three such examples on the screen with this price difference. We'll use the electricity consumption by the AC, your usage per day and the number of months you will use the AC in a year to arrive at how many years it will take for you to recover the upfront extra cost that you would pay for a 5 star AC. Lower the recovery period, the better. So the first step is to understand how many units of electricity are consumed by the AC. There are different ways to measure the electricity consumption and I'll be using one of them that uses the energy efficiency of the AC and its cooling capacity. You can also use the annual energy consumed to determine the electricity consumption. The energy utilization of an AC can easily be calculated from the BEE rating shared by brands. As you can see, the units consumed per hour is much lower in the case of a 5-star AC compared to a 3-star AC, which is expected. The next step is to determine how much electricity is consumed based on how many hours you are going to use the AC. Now let's understand the difference in our electricity bill per month, assuming that the unit electricity cost is 8 rupees. This is assuming you're not overstraining the AC by having the temperature too low, much below 24 degrees Celsius. If you do, your electricity cost will be even higher. Now that we understand the electricity consumed per month, the next step is to identify the recovery period of that extra charge that you're paying in months based on your hours of usage and your number of months. Now since there is an upfront price difference between the 3 and 5 star AC, we need to know how many months it will take for us to recover the upfront cost that we pay. On the screen, you can see the number of months that it takes. From this, it may seem like a 5 star AC is better as it only takes 24 months to recover. But we have not factored in how many months we will run the AC, which will extend the recovery period significantly. So for example, if you stay in a relatively cooler area, which only gets really hot in summer, you would potentially run your AC only 3 months in a year. A 24 months recovery period will push the recovery years to 12 years, at which point you will either get maintenance issues or your energy bills are bloated due to more efficient models available in the market. So generally speaking, lower the time to recover your upfront cost, the better. So from this analysis, what can we determine? First, a 3 star AC is sufficient for you if you use your AC only a few months in a year, like 3 to 4 months, and in that period less than 12 hours a day as well. A 5 star AC is better for you if you use your AC throughout the year or even if you use your AC for 12 to 24 hours a day if you're using your AC only for 3 to 4 months. Now, 1.5 ton ACs are the most popular capacity for ACs in India. I have very detailed videos on selecting the best 1.5 ton 5 star ACs and 1.5 ton 3 star ACs. But here is a quick recommendation summary for you if you want to go ahead with your decision. In the 1.5 ton 5 star AC category, let's first talk about the top 3 ACs that offer the best cooling performance. My first recommendation continues from last year, the 2025 model of the Panasonic AI Wi-Fi 1.5 ton 5 star AC. This has a best ICR rating, so more energy efficient than others. It also gives 5 years warranty on the PCB. While the product is good, some users have complained about the serviceability of Panasonic ACs. I personally use this AC as well in my master bedroom. My next recommendation is the Daikin 1.5 ton 5 star AC. This is the only 2024 AC I'm recommending on this list as the 2025 models from Daikin are not yet available. But in spite of being a 2024 AC, the ICR and the cooling capacity of this Daikin AC is comparative or better than a lot of the 2025 models as well. And my last recommendation for hot areas up to 58 degrees Celsius is the Samsung 2025 1.5 ton 5 star AC, the Winfrey model. The wind-free capability gives an even airflow without blasting cold air into the room, making the cooling very gentle and less noisy. While the energy efficiency of the Samsung AC is good, 
the cooling efficiency is slightly lower than the other two models that I recommended. In the budget segment under 35,000, I have two recommendations for you. The first is the Mark U by Flipkart. At a really attractive price of 32,000 for a 1.5 ton 5 star AC, this has some of the best capabilities with a 2025 model with a cooling efficiency of 5.15 kilowatt, one of the best, and an ICR rating of 5.1. This AC is an essential AC, so no capabilities like Wi Fi, AI, or dehumidifier. Overall, great value for money. And my next budget recommendation is the Media Santis Pro. This again is a 2025 model with one of the best cooling efficiencies of 5.25 kW. With a 4-way swing, a PM 2.5 filter and Wi-Fi included, this AC provides advanced capabilities at a budget price. Now in the 1.5 ton 3-star AC category, First, let's talk about the top ACs that offer the best cooling performance. Again, here my first recommendation is the Panasonic 2025 1.5 ton 3 star AC. Panasonic has an essential and an advanced variant which includes AI and Wi-Fi 2 at a slightly higher price. The core features of both the ACs remain the same as you can see on the screen. The essential variant only gives you a 4 year additional warranty on the PCB, while the advanced variant gives you 5 years. My next recommendation is the Samsung Winfree 2025 1.5 ton 3 star AC. This Winfree AC helps to cool the room with no direct cold draft, making cooling very uniform and comfortable for many people. It is however more expensive than other smart ACs. Samsung installation and service is generally regarded as one of the best. My next recommendation in the 3 star segment is the Hitachi 2025 model. This AC has a 4 way air swing for better cooling and an ice clean technology to ensure the air from the AC remains clean and fresh. As for the cons, it is not as energy efficient as the other two models that I have recommended. Next is the IFB 1.5 ton 3 star AC. This AC has a 7 stage air treatment with different types of filters for cleaner air. While the cooling performance of this AC is great, up to a maximum temperature of 55 degrees Celsius, it is not as energy efficient as the Panasonic and the Samsung models that I have recommended. And my last recommendation in the high performance segment is the Daikin 1.5 ton 3 star AC, which has the Coanda airflow for even cool air distribution throughout the room. It is a 2024 model and has lower cooling and energy efficiency performance compared to the, some of the other models recommended. Now coming to a budget under 30,000, I have two recommendations for you. Both of these have lower cooling capacity than recommended for 1.5 ton ACs, but fare quite well in other parameters. My first recommendation is the Cruise AC. It has a cooling capacity of 4.8 kW, which some users find ineffective, but works well for small to medium sized rooms. Compared to other high performance ACs, it also supports a lower maximum temperature and a smaller stabilizer free range. So consider adding a stabilizer if your voltage fluctuates beyond 165 to 285 volts. And my second recommendation is the Mark U by Flipkart 1.5 ton 3 star AC. This has a turbo cool mode that cools in under 20 minutes, even at 55 degrees Celsius, which is the maximum temperature it supports. As for the cons, there have been some complaints about the installation and customer service. But this depends on the area that you live in as well. If you found this video useful, share the video and subscribe to become part of the 120,000 plus community that trusts us with their decision making. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.